Hi there, Dave here. In this video I'm going to clean this laptop's fan and fan vent. This is a Zoo Storm laptop, model number W251HUQ. Now, this laptop's fan is often spinning very fast. What tends to happen with a lot of laptops is the fan and the fan vent gets clogged up with dust, which makes the laptop run hotter and so the fan spins faster to try and compensate for this. So if your laptop's fan is spinning fast most of the time or all of the time, this is a good sign that there's a lot of dust that's built up around the fan and the fan's vent. So let's open this laptop up and see the state of the fan inside this laptop. First of all, we need to shut the computer down, take out the power lead, and next we take the battery out. On this laptop in particular, we can push this slider across and hold this slider across and just pull the battery out like this. Next, I need to unscrew this panel here. Just got a screw here, here, here and here. So I'm just gonna take those out now. So next, I can lift this panel up and as I lift the panel up, I can see the fan is connected to this plate here and there's some wires connected from the fan to the motherboard. So I just need to take this connector out here. That's the fan and the plate off. And here we can see the fan's vent, the heat sink, has got quite a lot of dust inside the fins. And also on the fan itself, there's quite a lot of dust that's built up here and also inside the fan. So we're going to clean that off. So the easy way to clean this vent, this heat sink, is to get rid of the worst of the dust and then blow through from this side so that the dust comes out this side. But I'm going to show you the proper way to do it. Now this heat sink is attached to this heat pipe which is screwed down in these three places. So I'm just going to unscrew this. And now we can pull this up, and take it out. So now we've removed this part, we can get rid of the worst of the dust that's on here. And then I'm gonna use a can of compressed air to blow through these vents. So I've got here a can of compressed air. I'm just gonna use it to blow through the vents here. Just to get rid of the dust from inside the vents, the heat sink. So that's the fans vent cleaned out, the heat sink. And next we can clean the actual fan itself. So first we can get rid of the worst of the dust. As you can see there's quite a bit of dust just here that we can just pull off. Now here you can see the fans being held in place by three screws. So I'm just gonna take those out so I can take the fan off of this back plate. Now we can 
lift the fan off of the plate. So now we've got the fan on its own, we can take some of the worst of the dust off by hand and then blow through the vents with a can of compressed air. So I'll just use this can of compressed air to blow through the fan to get rid of the dust. Just need to use short sharp bursts and as you can see a lot of the dust is coming out already. So that's the fan cleaned out. Now we can just put it back onto the plate and use the three screws again to screw it back into place. So the next thing to do is to clean off this old paste off of the processor and also to clean this old paste off of this metal plate that goes on top of the processor. And for this I've got these two bottles here called Arty Clean. The first bottle is to help remove the paste and the second one is to help clean up afterwards. So I'm just going to put a few drops of this onto the back of the processor to help remove the paste and onto the back of this plate here as well. So now this liquid has been on there for about a minute and now I'm going to use a lint-free cloth to get rid of the paste off of the processor, which should now come off quite easily. So now I've got the processor clean, I can now clean this plate here as well get rid of the old paste off of this plate. So now I'm going to use this second bottle to clean up this plate here. Also I'm going to use this liquid to clean up the back of the processor. Just use this cloth to clean that up and dry it off. So that's the processor clean and now for the plate just clean that liquid off. So now we can put some thermal paste onto processor. We just need a little bit of paste here and I'm going to spread that around with a lint-free cloth. So now I've got some thermal paste on the processor. I can put this plate back on top just get it into place and now we can just screw this back into place with these three screw holes here. So now we can take our fan that's on this plate and we need to put this connector back into place on the motherboard. And then we can put the plate 
back into place again, just pop it into place. And then put the four screws back in to hold the plate in place. Now we can put the battery back into place and lock it. So let's turn the laptop on now and see if that fan is still spinning fast all the time. Now as you can hear the fan inside this laptop isn't running at full speed all the time as it was before. So that's that problem fixed. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.